first of all, uh, important to check on how Luis Diaz is and mm. what information do you have on, on the current situation? Hopefully, you're getting something positive. Yeah, so um, you guys know Lucho, no? Um, he's an incredible player. That everybody can see that. He's. Uh, we knew this when we got him, but then the whole of England could see it and the whole of the world saw it. And um, But then you see him here in the building and he's the guy who always smiles. He's the guy who has with everybody an unbelievable relationship. So we really care f about him. And um, yeah, the only thing now for us is we have to, we try to support him as, as much as we can. Uh, a lot of things are out of our hands, which is completely normal. We hope that the authorities there uh, that he can find his dad and, um, and that everything is good and we just pray for that. Um, it's not for me here sitting here and tell the whole world what we are doing or for Lucho, it's just we are doing, as long as we know that we are doing the right thing for him because he's one of us. I think uh, the team responded after our goal uh, brilliantly with uh, putting the shirt up for him. I think that was a nice gesture that he just knows that we are here for him. And uh, and then how the stadium reacted, that was that was special as well. Um, people forgot, but the whole fan base is behind this as well. And oh, our motto is you never walk alone. So yeah, let's just pray and hope that everything uh, is quickly to a, to a good situation again. Yeah. In, in terms of the team then this week, Back to League Cup action. I take it Curtis Jones back after suspension. Bytetic, is he available? Thiago? Uh, we miss Thiago. I have to say, uh, I miss him a lot. Uh, can you imagine uh, our midfield, our new players, everybody speaking about, and then you have Thiago Alcantara <laughs> in the middle as well, guiding the others, the experience, the way he passed, the way he moves, the way he, everything. So we really miss him. So. But it will take uh, time, he will not be available. Uh, I texted him three days ago, three days ago, uh, because it was Cruyff's, uh, it was 50 years since Cruyff made his debut for Barca. And I said, Holland and Barca will forever be connected. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, he's, he's an unbelievable professional, an unbelievable guy. We hope to get him back uh, soon, yeah. And by Tetic? Stefan, not available. Not available. Not available yeah. uh, for Curtis? Curtis, yeah. yeah, he trained uh, yesterday, and how Curtis is full of energy, uh, unbelievable steps still making. Uh, so really happy how he how he's playing for the team, and uh, yeah, uh, top top that he's available. So obviously, rotation this season in the cup competitions mm. hasn't really impacted results negatively. Mm. What's, what's been the key element behind that, and also what confidence? Does it give you, and what does it say about the potential to compete yeah. on the four fronts this season? Ah, it's the quality of the players. They, they, uh, our squad is full of potential. Our squad is full of desire. Uh, you see, example in Toulouse, the Toulouse game, Europa League, when we changed eight times, we kept our identity. Uh, we still won the opposition half. Uh, uh, we. We had the ball, we were constantly creating, and with eight changes, that says a lot. And uh, just, I'm really happy with that. But that comes from the, from the training, from the meetings, from the video, from, the, from what you're saying, the quality of the players, but especially their hunger, their desire. They, they are all in a moment where they want to achieve. And uh, I don't mind that they're saying it. I don't mind that they, that, uh, that they show their dreams and they show their... And uh, if you compete for Liverpool, that should be always there, no? So, yeah. No, I'm really happy with them. We are really happy with them, so. Yeah. Yeah. One more? James? Uh, does that show about Ryan Gravenberg? He must be someone you were well aware of coming through in Holland. He had a difficult time at, at, at Bayern Munich. He, he yeah. spoke recently about saying that you've been really important to help him settle here. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, cool. yeah. yeah, we see the Ryan of Ajax. <laughs> and that's. Uh, that was already really impressive at that time. But then you see is that a player... That's why the cup is so important as well, because everybody's playing, everybody's constantly... A player who doesn't play uh, a game weekly, a, week, a, a, a game in two weeks, will never get confident. And we all know that a player with confidence or without confidence is not the same player. 
So I'm not sure what happened at Bayern, but not playing and not confident. So that's, uh, and here he comes, full trust. We knew the potential before because we wanted him back then. Um, and then he, and then we knew that with, with training, with uh, good conversations, with showing our idea, with the clarity of the whole group, uh, that we had uh, a special player. If you see how he's in the final third, how he, how he glides, how his first touch, how he has the overview still to play the last pass. And you say the difference between a good team and a top team is how you dominate between the lines, how good you can dominate there. And Ryan has everything to be an eight like that and still arrives in the box and still shoots and still has this uh, mentality to score as well. So, yeah, thank you, owners. <laughs> and, uh, and thank you, scouting and everyone who was involved. It's, uh, uh, we have an eight and I'm happy always when it, the team is a little bit more orange as well. With this open new change of Mr. Tool debut last week and then McConnell and Scanlon came on as, as well. Kwanzaa and Doak have been involved. Are you excited about the the caliber of the young players that are coming through here? Yeah. Um, I think what the biggest clubs in the world have in common is this one club mentality where from a very young age, it's the same style. From a very young age, the coaches have just one target to teach them the values of the club. And we have the advantage not the advantage, the, the club created that Alex Ingletorp is more than 10 years in the job as academy director. Consistency, that's one. Jurgen Klopp is here for eight years. Uh, Vitor Mats, who's the bridge between the academy and the first team and who continues with the values and gives everything of his DNA, of his way of seeing things to the young players. Um, you have Barry Lutus, who was here as a young coach and now is our under 23 manager and all these guys me included <laughs> we really want this pathway to be open because we feel that only then you create a, like um, a healthy club a club who's sustainable and a club who who has culture who gives gener so for example so the other day <laughs> i see so curtis came in and Meli, adam lalana genie they were on top of him. They were speaking like every time when he did something wrong, every time when he did something, but they cared. And then now you see Callum coming in or Luke or how you say, and Curtis is speaking in the same way to them how Millie was speaking. And then you create culture. And that was a dream. And I knew, we knew always it was possible. Um, but in the end, uh, we are here and... Um, and uh, we, all these guys I just mentioned, they believe and they want. And then you need, so you need a lot of guts and a lot of, um, I cannot say it here, but for, for, for a manager to, and for the staff around to put and to trust and to give, because you know, but we believe in this process, and I, I, that's one of one of the one of the reasons why we all love working for this club because this club is much bigger than just a first team. This club is almost like an institution, in my opinion. Yeah. Apologies. Matt, it's um, three games next week, so it's the first team in each. So yeah. 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 Just so the the building is like uh, it, it. At least it showed ambition, no? It showed like we're going to create something. What's for the whole club? We create something where we bring them together. I still believe that buildings are buildings and rocks are rocks and chairs are chairs. But it's about the people who sit in it. It's about the people who control the process, who deal with the process, and the the people I just mentioned, with the consistency we have, with the game idea we have over a long time, that creates like that as consistency in this, uh, um, and that as a, a pathway. Um, the building is brilliant. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's something we always wanted. It was not easy to leave Melwood behind because of the culture, because of, sorry, the, the, the history and the, the feeling it got. Time by time, we are creating something here. Um, yeah, one club mentality deserves that you are together. Uh, 
I, I, I have to say I'm happy that the women st- are now in mode, that at least somebody of Liverpool is there. But it helped for sure. Uh, but I still believe that the people, I just mentioned th- that, that in the end, the people who make the decisions and who guide the young players, uh, yeah, make the difference. So, so the standards of these youngsters have to strive for, hmm. is it high, obviously extremely high, so how, how do we judge the player who comes in and plays one game? What, what do we say? Yeah, that? we always say that uh, one thing is making your debut, the other thing is winning a prize. <laughs> And we want young players who win prizes, not young players who make debuts. That's what they know. That's what they have to feel from a young age. Finals, compete, mentality, this kind of character, like this. And that's what luckily the seniors have. We have a few players in our squad who won everything with us. So, and now we have young players who come in, signed. Who really, they won as well, but not with Liverpool, but they really want to win something with us. I think this blend is, is really good. And they have young players who have been educated from a young age what it is, what it means to play for the Liverpool mystique, like this idea. Yeah. But the standards are high. <laughs> it should be, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I was wondering, how much is he embracing that battle for place in the midfield and what have you made of his start to the season? Uh, I, I, I said to Harvey probably two, three weeks ago, um, like I never have seen him this good in training like he was, and he was not playing at the time. That's why I spoke with him, like, so, because um, I chose a lot the consistency he's coming on or starting, so he's always there. I think he's really consistent in his performance, what you just said. Um, so and that's something we wanted for him as well, from him as well, no, and that's what he feels. He acts more like a senior than you think, like the same, similar with Curtis. They are l- such a long time already with us, and he wants to. He has this character as well to be like that. Um, yeah, he uh, he makes impact. He is this player who has to make impact. He, uh, he is the player who between the lines and on the outside when he plays there who has to create, who has to play the final pass, who needs to arrive and score. And uh, um, yeah, he, yeah, he's a really, really good player. No? We all see this, yeah. I just want to ask you as well, you alluded earlier to fight for more front this year, but Jota and Sabato, I've spoken openly this week about uh, fighting on four fronts going for various competitions. Mm-hmm. Is that a sign of the confidence that the squad have within each other to be able to go on all fronts this season? What's not to like about Dom? Eh? <laughs> he just says it as well. Um, it's also scouts mentality, I think, as well. Like to say, like, um, but um, they have dreams. And what's me to stop? Believe that they have dreams that they believe to to that we achieve and that we achieve the the impossible because that's what they what they are saying, you know. Um, but what I like, and this is, I think, the most important, is that with Dom, you see it on the pitch, you know, what he does. He plays this last pass, example, this week, no, and the goalie, and Mo scores the third goal. But for me, it's about you can speak and you can say, but you have to do, you have to show, and you have to show not just the game, you have to show on the training pitch, and not just on the training pitch, on on the in Kirkby here on the <laughs> on the windy day, on the rainy day, on the on when it's freezing, when it's like and so far it's not it's not November, December, January, January, February, so he doesn't know yet. But what I see now is that Dom has all of this. That he has this. A Jota, yeah, we can say a lot, but he he is the same as Darwin, he's the one who creates by himself five, six chances a game. And what I like about Jota as well. He scores a lot of goals, but it's a lot of times the first one, and that's the hardest one to score. So uh, that says a lot about uh, shots. Yeah. Carl. Uh, so, yeah. Great. Can we go back to the Luis situation? Um, you've spoken already today about the importance of the people in the building. You've spoken about the response the players had on the pitch. I'm just wondering what the response has been off the pitch from, from that unit, because it's, it's an unprecedented situation. It could Destabilizing for us, of course. 
I think and I feel that it's it's only for Liverpool Football Club to know that our players know that we are doing the right thing. It's not for me here to sit and tell you, all of you, what we are doing to support Lu Luis Diaz. As long as we feel and we know that he has all our support and we're doing the right things and we just pray and we just... Um, that the whole club is behind him and thinks about him and that he has that feeling, then it's, then it's right. Then for me it's right. So, but it's, I'm not going to share nothing about... Uh, it's, not my pl it's not the place, it's for the authorities there to deal with it. And all, everything we hear is that they are dealing, or, or that they are trying everything. And that's the most important, that, that, uh, that his family is okay. No. Mm. What brings you to make that decision about him going to Spain? You said it was that whole thing on being a bit more organised, not just because he's an individual. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, that's, that's no, no, no. I didn't mean I meant individually, yeah. but not a team. Uh, um. Nah. Um, so each, what I like is that our st our style is still the same. Our way approaching game is still the same. We want to chase. We want to get the ball. We want on the opposition half. We want our best players as much on the ball that they can risk. We want to be always connected enough to counter press on the highest level. We want to be different than all other teams in the world in terms of when we lose the ball. All these things are five years ago are the same. Seven years are the, are the same. Today is the same. These are the ideas of Jurgen, of the club, of me, of the staff, of everybody who feels. That's, that's the most important. Then it was always the case that the individuals, all our players, they, they always made the difference. Not we as a staff, not we as a management. They, Trent played the passes, nobody saw her. Trent played the passes, everybody's looking, you have to play on the right side, the simple, and he chips, he plays it to Sadio Mane and puts him in front of the goal and we score the winning goal. He plays a quick corner, whatever, all these things. It's always about the players and we just, we want technique. So when we buy, we buy technique, we buy sp something specific to improve our style, what we feel, because teams adapt to us, teams change against us, uh, they learn about our strengths, they stop our strengths, so we always have to have new impulses, new... But this comes so much more from the, st the individual styles than from, and now we're going to do this, this, and this different, or now we have to do... But what they all have in common is technique. If you look to Dom, if you look to Jota, if you look to Gravenberg, if you look to Darwin, if you look to Lucho, if you look to... Come on, Alexis, if you look the young ones who come, that's what they all have in common. And they all have the character to play for this club. And then, but the, the, the style, it's much more about the past than about, uh, it's, yeah. Makes sense, no? Hopefully, yeah. I suppose it's just a bit, it just feels as though it goes everywhere at the moment. Just like that. Yeah, that happens where you have technique, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, the, these boys, that, that um, but you cannot, uh, get Fabinho, a new one. You cannot get a new Roberto Firmino. They are unique. You don't get a new Henderson. They are unique. <laughs> you have to go with, uh, and, and it's a staff. You have to see what the quotes are. Ryan, for example, just take Ryan. What are his quotes? Then we create spaces and dynamics for his qualities to shine. But always in the end that they can make the difference, that they can play free, that they can just go, that they can, that they can enjoy football because a happy guy plays better than a, a guy who just has to do what the coach tells him and I feel that this mixture we found this season and that's 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 just nice and uh, and we have to prove each day to continue but with what I just hopefully with, with the values and with the principles and with the ideas of the past that will never change uh, 
He trained yesterday. Yeah. Let's see. He trained yesterday first time, not completely, but uh, yeah. he trained. Have you seen the impact of the Summer World Cup um, in Qatar and how that's affected the players? Is there potential for another Summer World Cup in Saudi Arabia uh, in the next decade ahead? I wonder what you made that decision if, if the World Cup was here in Saudi Yeah, but that's it's not even decided, no? I think that they only... I, I think the whole world, because that's why they call the World Cup, the whole world... Um, uh, should be able to watch, to contribute on uh, on football. So then it's about the FIFA to decide where's the best places to play. One, taking in co consideration the players, the health of the players. Second, uh, the atmosphere, the 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 fan base. The it's a festival. For me, football is for the fans. For the festival. So that's the main thing. And uh, yeah, that's always should be the starting point of everything we decide. That the players can play on the highest level, that they can show and entertain everyone. That's how football should be, and the health of the boys. Thank you. <coughs>